I think the Nobel Peace Prize awarded to the European Union is a very powerful recognition of everything we have done in Europe uh, to move from war to peace, to reconcile uh, peoples in Europe, countries in Europe, around the project of democracy, freedom, respect for human rights and cooperation. Uh, it's a recognition of past achievements of the European Union. When I got the news of the prize, I was extremely proud as a European and also as ambassador of the European Union to the United States. Uh, I felt that this was absolutely deserved, uh, that the European Union had done enough to deserve this prize. But there was also a personal dimension. Uh, I, I'm a European, but I'm also Portuguese, and I lived the 17 years in a dictatorship in Portugal. So I'm particularly aware of what it means to be free, to live in a democracy, uh, to have uh, our human rights respected and the European Union was uh, crucial in providing my country as many other countries in Europe, uh, in Eastern Europe, those who were behind the higher curtain, in Spain or Greece that had been under dictatorships as well and, uh, and today we are 500 million people together in peace. Uh, I'm extremely proud of that. Even in areas of the world where people are uh, victims of conflict, discrimination, intolerance, there is hope, there is hope that things can change and that countries that were at war uh, can uh, become friends, can cooperate and can build a project together. This is the message that Europe is sending to the world. This prize is also, to some extent, an American prize because we, had, we have had the support of Americans throughout our project. After the Second World War, uh, America was very clear in support of of a reconstructed Europe, a stronger Europe. A European integration project is also an American idea. So I think Americans should be happy, and I know they are happy. I think this Nobel Peace Prize is both a recognition of past achievements as much as it is a, an inspiration and an encouragement for our future action. But it, also, it is also a, a wake-up call for the present, for today. Uh, we need to know that this is a fragile, uh, enterprise always, like all human enterprise. Uh, it's very precious for us Europeans, but in order to sustain it, we need every day to contribute to make it stronger. Uh, so several messages come out of this prize, uh, all of them positive for Europe, and we are very happy and very proud of it.